hello everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today i'll show you how to edit outdoor portrait so let's see what is the output today okay this one is our uh, before image uh, the non-edited image and the after one so we'll do this type of uh, the color effect the outdoor effect and the green color correction and the google nick collection dodge burning options so let's start okay before we start our tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend why you will subscribe you will subscribe for the new tutorial and you will get at first when i will publish okay let's start uh, i'm going to the file and then open here is the uh, non-edited image the stock image i downloaded it from the devianart.com and i'll give you that download link in my video description so check it out my video description and let's start at first make a copy by pressing ctrl j okay and after that make another copy by just dragging and dropping i'll do the dodge burn option dodge and burn dodge for highlight and burn for shadow okay and then at first i'll give the name of this layer the b and d okay uh, I'm turning off the D layer and just starting the select this B layer and making it green mode, the blending mode, and go to the blending options. And here is the slider. You can slide this one and find out the highlighted area of the face and the image. And press the alter button. It will divide and adjust the light. Okay. You can control the opacity from here. Okay, and hit the OK button mask this one go and then go to the image and apply image and hit the ok button after that turn on the d layer and make the blending mode in a multiply and blending options from the blending option this slider you will work with it and find out the shadow area yes press the alter button and adjust the shadow with the face and hit the ok button after that again mask it and go to the image and apply image and in this case make it invert and hit the ok button select these two layer and make it group by pressing ctrl g and mask this one and image apply image in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok you'll get subtle change actually shadow and highlight and select this two layer make it group make it snapshot or merge this one okay after that go to the filter and the camera filter from the camera filter i'll do the color correction shadow highlighting and the green color correction actually okay uh, de-highlight the picture and add some shadow and de-highlight white little bit and black little bit after that go to the effects option that means effects and from the amount of style that means the vignetting at a little bit that's good and from the camera calibration make the primary blue color like that yes 30 or around 33 that's good and desaturate this one a little bit 10 is good and after that primary green color I'll just make minus 14 or 15 around that and add some saturation from the primary red color add some red like that 8 or around 10 that's good and desaturate this one minus 3 or 4 that's good after that go to the hsl option from the hsl option i'll reduce the saturation of the green and this just de-highlighted or just uh, minus the luminance of green a little bit after that uh, white color i'll reduce that means the uh, luminance i'll reduce minus 10 or 11 around okay from the saturation add some yellow saturation and orange saturation decrease a little bit minus six or five seven that's good and add some luminance of orange that's good okay here is the blue color and i'll go to the hue of blue i'll make it minus 16 around minus 16 
and luminance I'll increase a little bit and saturation I'll increase a little bit okay okay let's see the before and after uh, the before one and after one the sky color the dress color um, and the grass color a huge change you are watching okay after that uh, go to the sharpening options I'm just going back to the edit okay that's good from the sharpening option add the sharpening amount a little bit 24 or 23 around that and luminance a little bit 27 or 25 that's good and from that all the things it good and um, the clarity I'll give three or four that's good and hit the ok button okay the previous one actually the previous one and after one after that I'll go to the filter and place embedded option here is a light collection I'll give that light link or light flare link in my video description so place over there and make it press ctrl and shift that means the uh, uh, ctrl shift and alter actually and make it bigger and position it like that and hit the ok button after that restylize this one and for that after that go to the filter and blur option and gaussian blur the uh, amount of gaussian blur like 75% uh, that's good and hit the ok button after that from the blending mode change the blending mode in a screen and you'll get that okay, that's good and if you want to make it bigger you can do or you can make it smaller or big that's good okay yeah that's it and after that go to the uh, just uh, adjustment layer and gradient map from the gradient map uh, choose the gradient color violet orange and hit the ok button change the blending mode into the soft light and reduce the opacity around 20 to 25 percent or you can change it at its own okay. i'm just giving this type of uh, changes okay after that go to the adjustment layer again and color lookup from the color lookup add some foggy uh, foggy night actually after that go to the fill options make the fill 10 percent that's good uh, let's see the changes okay that's good and go to the adjustment layer again and color lookup from the color lookup add horror blue color and reduce the opacity a little bit and make the uh, blending mode to the soft light and fill just 14 around 14 percent that's good and after that uh, go to the adjustment layer again and the curves from the curve select here just one dot and just change it like that and go to the blue color and just add like that that's good and select all the layers and group this one all the things and make it merge after merge this one go to the filter again and nick collection from the nick collection color effects pro 4 okay i'll give the nick collection download link that plugins link in my video description so don't forget to check out my video and video description actually from the uh, i'm using the cross processing here is the all the filters i'm um, i'm using the cross processing filters and here is the methods uh, and i'll use method from here you can choose your own you can add some any kind of um, dreamy color but i'll use this one okay and this one is good and i'll reduce the strength you can uh, reduce it or you can change it your own okay and hit the ok button it will take time to load and give you the output okay this one is the output selecting all the things make it group make it merge after turning off all the things and i'm keeping the output and the previous one okay this one is our previous or non-edited image the stock image and after you did that you are getting this type of dreamy and the cinematic effect or fantasy look actually okay that's all today uh, thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i am a seven signing out and bye bye Thank you.